a lot of people just go into business without really understanding what exactly business is and how they should be running it you know for longevity to be able to stay longer to be able to play this game longer and so there's a, there are a couple of things you have to know um if you don't know these things it makes it very difficult for you to be in a particular type of business for long and very soon you get to you start seeing as if okay this business is not working let me try something else and oftentimes that's not the case if you notice people who stay in business for long they have the fundamentals figured out and because they have these fundamentals figured out it gets way easier for them to you know achieve their goals even if it looks as if they are not doing that in the short run but you will notice that they're able to last in business way longer and they're able to build a business that you know outlasts them so let's look at three things that you need to settle and know if you're going to last very long in business number one is that you need to understand and have a marketing budget you don't just need to have a marketing budget you also need to understand it so what is a marketing budget basically that is the amount you spend in getting new customers or getting old customers to return and make a purchase right or do business with you generally so your marketing budget is a very very important part of your um you know building your business and a lot of people do not take this seriously or even understand it right um they they when they just wake up one day and say oh i want to advertise they wake up uh, maybe they, they they wake up one day and oh i want to advertise um, i want to get 20 customers i want to get 100 customers black friday is coming i want to do this no there should be a predetermined marketing budget and your marketing budget comes out from you understanding how much it is costing you um you know in your marketing so basically here is a few things that will comprise your marketing budget firstly you need to understand the cost of per customer how much is it costing you to acquire a new customer you need to factor in um cost other cost of advertising such as um, maybe amount you spent to pay graphic designers um somebody re recording videos um you know how much you paid for facebook ads how much you paid for youtube ads whatever type of advertising you use you need to factor all these things together and then you get an average cost of how much this costing you to get one single person to pay you money and then when you're able to do that you now know that okay my average customer will cost me say ten dollars to get so when you know that okay your average customer costs you then ten dollars if you want to get a thousand customers you want to get a hundred customers it's very easy to now know oh i need to hold or i need to spend um let's say a thousand dollars right and i can get a hundred customers simply by multiplying it so this is one very very important aspect of your business you need to understand because this will help you make campaigns that can easily hit their target because you can now plan very very easily you don't need to say oh, okay I, I have just 200 dollars and yet i want to hit um 10 to 100 customers you already know it is costing you an average of 10 dollars per customer so you already know that to hit 100 customers all you need to do is scale your budget to um so it's a thousand dollars right it's that very very simple so another reason why you need to understand your marketing budget is because it helps you know when you're profitable so looking back at our example of getting a customer for ten dollars you've already gotten to know this when you're profitable you're getting your customers for under ten dollars but the moment you start getting customers for eleven dollars twelve dollars thirteen dollars you already know you're not profitable you already know there's something you need to do you need to work on something you need to change something right so it becomes really really easy for you to know when you're profitable when you have a marketing budget but when you don't have one even if your cost per customer now increases to twenty dollars you can't even tell if you're profitable or not because you don't even have a marketing budget you don't even know your cost per customer right the cost for acquiring a new customer so this is a very very important thing you need to know in business if you really um, want to go far want to do well
now the second thing you need to know in your business if you really want to do well is knowing who your ideal customer is you need to be able to ask a lot of questions to figure out who exactly is your ideal customer you see a lot of people make this mistake of trying to sell to just about anybody for example one of the common things i've uh, i've noticed with real estate people is they don't even know who their ideal customer is i had a class where i talked a little bit about real estate and then somebody came to my dm and was trying to tell me about their property well, i wasn't interested in properties i was the wrongest person you could tell talk to me about you see the fact that somebody makes one or two statements does not make them your ideal customer you need to ask a lot of questions to know who your ideal customer is now some of the questions i like to ask in knowing my ideal customer is who needs this stuff i'm selling right who and why do they need it right because if you know who is that person their name um their age their gender their location if you know those persons how much they are you know how much they are being paid and some other in-depth personality type questions about them if you know them um who needs it you're able to direct your message to them your message to them makes more sense and helps it converts way better the message is direct to them it speaks to them so some of the questions i like to ask like i said i need to, i ask who needs it then i ask where can i find these people who need it right um not everybody is on facebook not everybody is on instagram not everybody is on tiktok not everybody is even google some people don't google anything right they've not googled any stuff for years if you're in nigeria you know that a lot of people don't even have android phones right so how do you reach those people are you going to use paid uh, traditional media i to use social media are you going to use paid uh, pay per click on google you have to figure out who is your ideal customer and how can you reach them if you understand these two things it gets easier for you to craft a message that is more powerful now the third thing you need to ask is what are their fears what are their desires right you need to know what is chasing these people or rather what are they running away from and you need to know what are they running towards um let's look at somebody who or who wants to um let's say who wants to cure ulcer right that person is running away from pain is running away from discomfort the person desires living you know being able to eat anything they want your ability to understand what are they running away from and um what do they want to move towards helps you so so well in selling in crafting a very powerful copy a very powerful uh, message take action if you can understand this it gets way way easier for you to um be able to you know close your customers and get a very very good connection with them right now another thing i like to ask which is really really important is what have these people tried before this is very important because if you say the same thing that they've tried before they will not buy from you right if let's go back to our also patients if you're selling um let's 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 look at this biro let's assume it's a, a an injection or something they can just take now if somebody has sold this stuff to them before and they've taken it and it didn't work if you come with this no matter what you say about this if you just try to sell this to them they're not going to buy because they've lost twice firstly their hope was bashed when they bought this thing the first time secondly they spent a lot of money right and they got this stuff and it didn't work so you have to know what have they tried before and you have to come up with something different from what they've tried before that's the uh, that's how you you know you get to sell so there are so many other questions you need to ask these are the five most important i love this but there are so many more that you need to ask now the last thing you want to look at is your sales funnel this is the thought you need to understand your sales funnel is very very important because it's the step your customer takes from finding your adverts or you know any way you're using to get new customers to the point where they're buying from you and it's a very very important piece of your marketing you know your whole marketing campaign if you do not have a powerful sales funnel one that resonates exactly with your particular type of audience um you're not going to do very well you have a product that billionaires like to buy most of them are not going to be on facebook you're not going to find them on facebook they don't have facebook profiles they're not going to be on instagram you're not going to find them you have to understand where do these people go to and that's where you need to go another side i watched a video where somebody was talking about how luxury brands uh, sell their cars they don't advertise it I've, and i've never seen an ad for a luxury brand i've not seen an ad for them 
right? They sell those cars when jet companies are launching new products. That's where they also bring those luxury cars to sell. They don't run ads on Facebook, on Instagram, paid me on, on, on TV. They don't do that. Right, they know where to sell the stuff because they know that that is where the billionaires will be. So it's the same thing with you. You need to know where are your customers going to be, and that comes back to point one, where we talked about understanding your ideal customer. You need to know where you can reach them. Now, the second thing about your sales funnel, you need to know what type of sales funnel works for you, and this has to to, to for you to be able to get this. You need to easily check your competition. What are your competition doing? You don't need to reinvent the wheel here. What are your competition doing? And if it's working for them, it's going to work for you. Right? So this is where you need to do competitor research. And then you also need to carry out a little bit of customer research to find out what your customers like. So basically, these are three things that if you took care of, you're going to last way longer in business than if you were just, you know, um, doing it anyhow you like. Right? So basically, you should ensure that you have these things covered you want to make sure that you understand and know your marketing budget you want to make sure you've carried out proper customer research you know to the t who your customer is and lastly you want to make sure that you have the perfect sales funnel that works for you